Hey, what's up my electricians? This is Ruben, AKA the Young Electrician. And today I'm gonna to talk about how I failed the journeyman exam so you don't have to. I wanna share with you guys what my experience was. Some of you guys are getting ready to take the test and maybe you're a little intimidated or um, maybe you don't know what it's gonna be like and you need a little bit of encouragement. So as one who has, you know, gone beyond the the curtain to the other side and has seen what was on the other side both failed and passed the journeyman test let me share with you guys uh, you know what i experienced so one thing the first time i took the journeyman test i finished the test with about 15 minutes to spare and in that 15 minutes i, I don't know i had like 20 something questions that were just marked uh, that I did not know that I had to go back and answer. And I felt about 50% confident that I had a good chance of passing. Um, and I failed. I went back with the 15 minutes and didn't have enough time to answer any of the questions I didn't know. And I, I failed. And you know, one of the things is during my preparation for the test, I I was going through a book. I'll, I'll share a link in the description below about you know what the book was because I think it's a really quality book. But you know, as I was going to the book, it wasn't really teaching me how to do uh, equations, and there there are equations in the uh, on the test. All it taught me was to navigate the code book quickly, which was a great thing and which helped me to do as good as I did do on the first test. Uh, but which wasn't enough navigating through the code book uh it could be enough i, I think you know I, I think i passed with like a a 63 or a 65 or something so i was right there i think if i would have been able to navigate a little better a little quicker and you know been able to answer a few more questions that were actually in the code book that didn't pertain to equations then i could have still passed um, but I was only semi prepared because all I could do at that time was navigate the code book very well. So the second time I took the test, I, as soon as I went in and started answering questions, I knew I passed, you know, there's a difference. The first time I went in, I was like iffy the entire time. And I was like, there's a 50, 50 chance that I passed. But the second time I went in. I, from the first 10, 15 minutes answering questions, I was like, wow, I'm gonna nail this. And I finished the test in three hours, about three hours and 10 minutes or so. I had 50 minutes left. I mean, I blew through the entire test. I felt 100% confident. I didn't think I missed one question uh, of the ones that I, were, I knew I knew you know what they were. And I had 11 questions marked. I think it was round 11. And in that 50 minutes, I went back and found the answers to all of them except two. So I want you guys to notice the difference in confident level and in speed and timing of taking the test. The first time, all I did was study through a book, learned how to navigate, I mean, I studied my butt off through that book, but I, I learned how to navigate quickly through the code book uh, but it made me semi prepared. It made me semi confident. And I only passed, I mean, only finished with 15 minutes to spare. The second time I went back, you know, I, I did a um, refresher. I quickly skimmed through the same book that I went through just to get familiar with the different code sections, you know, keep it fresh in my mind. But I also took a class. I, I went to Wika. I took a journeyman prep course, a, an excelled course. It was a two week program. It was uh, 16 hours, uh, two Saturdays. And wow, that thing was awesome. That thing was great. That thing took me to the next level of being prepared. And I didn't just take the class, I took it seriously. I did everything that they asked. I, after I finished the, uh, the course, I think I set the test for two weeks out from when the course ended. And during that time, I spent one week skimming through that book. So I went through every section and about completed about maybe half the book. 
in those in that week just to make sure I am familiar with uh, navigating the code book the code sections and and I feel fresh in that area on the second week I spent pouring over all the material that I went through in Wika. I remember there were some things that I did not understand that the dude was talking about, some of the equations. Um, so I had I had it written down, I had the answers on my, you know, on, on my sheets from the class, and I had, you know, pictures of the course and some of the, of the pictures that he showed of his examples. And I went back and I had to, you know, work backwards through some of the equations to figure out what the heck did this guy do and I was able to figure out a lot by doing that and you know that really helped me excel in the test so what I learned is you can never be uh, too prepared if you are going to take the journeyman test then I recommend uh, using a book to learn to navigate through the code book it's uh it's very quality i will say this when it came to um taking the test or when it came to studying for the test the book that i used did not make me feel confident in equations answer you know answering equation questions and i could say this the course that we could did not give me any confidence that that two week crash course would have helped me navigate through the code book. They give you, you know, tests, a couple of tests to, to you know, do practice tests, but none, not enough to make you feel confident in, um, in taking the test. So what I recommend doing for you guys who don't want to fail your first time is get a book. You got the Dwalt book out there. That one is, uh, you know, highly coveted. Uh, everybody recommends it, so I do recommend getting that Dwalt book. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. A link to the book that I used, and uh, a link to Wika. A Wika does have an online um, course. That's what I did. It was during COVID, so I did everything online. And uh, they got a two-week course, but I recommend if you do want to be just 100% confident you're going to pass, take their eight-week course. It's going to cover everything thoroughly. Uh, it's if nothing else, it's going to make you a better electrician, a more knowledgeable electrician, so it can do nothing but benefit you. And it, you know, it is a little pricey to take the class. I think it's like three hundred bucks or something like that. I can't remember. Um, and then it's, you know, it's pricey taking the test, but you know, it's going to cost you more if you wait and you know you don't get that pay increase and you don't start to move up in your career. Because honestly, being a journeyman is not the end goal. A lot of guys think that being a journeyman is the first step in your actual career as an electrician. Um, so, yeah, go take the test. Do everything you can to prepare. And I hope me sharing this stuff with you and, and my journey has helped you out. Go ahead and comment below and let me know how confident you feel right now in taking the test. And do you think that uh, you know using a book or taking a course like I mentioned would really uh, help you and give you more confident confidence? Uh, so comment below and let me know your guys' thoughts on that and like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace.